All right, we are on the last step of our weaving, which is finishing it and taking it off the loom. Um, so you should have gotten over halfway on your cardboard um, and ready to take it off. So first thing we're gonna do is cut a few of these warp strings on the back side. So not here at the bottom, turn your weaving around and I would just cut four or five right in the middle on the back side of your loom. Then take two at a time and you'll pull them to the front. And then, so I just take two at a time, I leave the rest in the back and I tie these in a knot. Not too tight so I'm squishing my weaving, but just right at the top of my weaving. I usually do a double knot and then just to hold it in place while I work, I'll put it back through one of these slots at the top. So just to hold it in place, I'll slide it back in. And then I do the same thing at the bottom. I have to unwind this um, spot where it was wrapped around a couple times. That'll give me kind of an extra long piece right there. I can trim it later. So again, I take two at a time, pull them to the front, and then I will just tie a simple double knot, whatever way you know how to tie a knot. Um, just make sure it's secure at the bottom of your weaving and not too tight. Um, then I'm just gonna keep going across the top and bottom. Um, and remember, as you finish, make sure to tuck those into one of your slots. That'll just kind of hold it in place as you work. So I'm going to keep going across the top and bottom, cutting or tying a few at a time. When I run out of strings and I need more, I'll just cut a few more from the back and keep going. So I'll cut a few more and keep tying two strings together at the top and bottom. Just a little note um, as you finish, I came to the end of my weaving and I ended up with three strings. So I'm just going to um, hold two in one hand and one in the other and just tie my knot with three strings. So if you end up with three, that's totally fine. Just tie your knot with all three together. And I came all the way across and then I'm just going to tuck these in to one of my slots. So I've tied all my um, knots, top and bottom, remember not too tight that you're scrunching up the yarn, but not so loose that there's space. So just tie it right at the top and right at the bottom. My back should look like this. I've cut all the warp strings, I've tied them. Now let's deal with these ends. If your weaving is nice and tight, meaning we can't see those white warp strings, then you should be fine to just trim your ends um, your tails right at the edge of your weaving. So grab your scissors from your art kit and just be careful to trim right at the edge without cutting any of your warp strings. So take your time, cut each one right at the edge, make a little pile of your scraps um, and you can just toss those when you're done. So I'll just keep cutting my ends and that is our last step. So I've just finished trimming all my ends. My weaving is completely done. Um, the last thing you'll just do for this project is do a little writing assignment, kind of tell me about um, how you created different textures, tell me um, what colors you used, what you liked about this project, maybe what was really challenging. Um, and then you can just tuck that paper behind your weaving on this cardboard so that everything stays together and then I know who your weaving belongs to because the weaving doesn't have a name on it. So we'll keep it attached to the cardboard and your paper can just slide right behind the weaving and you're done.